Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. <laughs> it's hard to believe, man. <laughs> in St. Pete, folks, it's 82 degrees out today. Yeah, enough's enough, man. I mean, we like it like that, but, you know, December 9th, 75 would be cool. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 65. NASDAQ up 14. S&P's flat. Gold contract uh, down, up uh, $9.60, trading at 1811 flat. The silver contract's up 49 cents, $23.74. Late sweet crude up 18 cents, $71.64 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note trading up 11 ticks at one. 14.03, the 30 year up a full point plus four ticks at 129.28, King Dollar. King Dollar's up 42 ticks, trading 104.816. The euro is out here at a price point of 105. The yen is at 136, and the British pound is at 122 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it looks to me like you still got this potential ABC structure on the way down, folks. Uh, you don't have buyers. That's the bottom line. You know, we're coming into this uh, area here. And, you know, bottom line, uh, my take is that what we're going to see here is that it's going to basically, you know, wait for the Fed. That's how this seems to be playing out. We'll see. Uh, you know, yesterday you had uh, 60 million shares. You're going into 77. We'll probably do about 60 million today. We're at 47 right now. We're going to 60, 65. You haven't held price, so it's going to be intriguing to say today if the SPY can hold that 397.36. Um, this will be really intriguing. If it closes under 395.64, that's really saying that that's, that's really bullish. I mean bearish. Because what happened is this. So Wednesday, you had 65 million. The high was 395.64. We were talking about this yesterday, and then it did close above it, so... As soon as it closes above it, saying, okay, you can get a little bit higher, which we did today. And so the, the key here is that when you look at the markets, folks, if you can't even hold, well, if you can't hold yesterday's, that's still saying lower price. But if you can't hold the day before, that is more bearish. That's how it comes down. If we close over the 397.36, that's saying, okay, it's going to chip into that a bit more. My, my head is saying that, you know, it's not going there. Well, we'll bring the... Uh, I'll bring up the futures so you can take a look at that. And the X100. We take a look at the uh, QQQ, uh, what you had yesterday. Now, the Q yesterday, bottom line, it had, you know, uh, not volume, but it, it stayed with price. Uh, you held the price. The price yesterday was 284.84. Now, we're under that right now. We got over it. We got 285.65. Yesterday, you know, we uh, boss, bottom line did 42 million. The prior day, 45, you're going into 53. So I suspect today we're going to do about 48. And what's going to be intriguing today is this, is that to see, we'll keep this track down. We're at 38.3 right now. And your price projection here is that you're only you're like 50 cents away from closing over that 284. If we go take a look at the NQs, that's the NDX100 futures. See how these babies are set up, you know, bottom line. The NQs uh, on the same PPI number this morning went down over 200 points. And that, that high volume low is game. We don't, you can see this. We don't have any volume at the top side here. None. I mean none. Um, and when you want to see something subtle, this is really cool. Now watch this. So at, let's see, what time was that? At 1,400 hours, 2 o'clock, right? See that, see that spike up? That spike there had uh, 5,800 contracts. Now, the last spike to try to get over that, well, I, I love it when this happens. See this spike here? That was last 10 minute buy, 3,500 versus 5,800. Your probability you're going down there, man. That's how this shakes out. Gold, gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold, gold contract is up $9 today. And 
Yeah, hey, listen, it's hanging up here, but it doesn't have the volume. It, and what you have now, and this is what happens, folks, when you're at, at highs for a certain amount of time. Let me pull, set this up here. So if we go... This is only five days, but it'll give you an idea of the type of energy that is getting participated right now in the gold market. Okay, so the first time that we reached 1818, you had 226,000 contracts. The second time, and it failed, was 180,000. Well, we're at 140 today. It's, it's, it's losing energy as it's getting up there. And let's go to bonds next, because it looks to me, let me see if this accelerated. Oh, it really didn't accelerate that much. We only got a, a million contracts out here today. It's not a lot. But let me see what we did out here yesterday. This is on the 10 year. Yeah, it's not much. Yeah, the, the bond market's going to need more contract volume to get the lower price. And then, of course, we're going to go to a good old King Dollar because King Dollar is running the whole ball of wax out here, folks. Uh, and when you have a King Dollar, you get a flat market out here today. Now, what King Dollar is doing, King Dollar is going to get the swing point from August 10th. You know, and what does happen is that there's more support there. See, because if you, if you bring it all the way over to June, not yeah, to June, there, there's this support here. It, it, it stayed, it rejected it the first time, which was last Friday, uh, Monday. That was Monday. Um, and we'll see whether I get a bounce or not. You know, it's, it's certainly been in a downtrend. Uh, the downtrend itself is what gave the market the uptrend, okay? So now the question is going to be, where does it all go? We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. It's going to be another low volume day. You got Tesla's up $7. You have uh, DocuSign up six fifty. They came out with numbers last night. Inside the NDX 100, let's see the strength versus the weakness inside here. DocuSign's up 14.5%. Netflix up 4.5%. Tesla 4%. And Broadcom 3.3, taken away from it. Lululemon down 13 and a half percent. Lucent's off four. You get uh, Dexcom off four, and JD.com's off 3.8. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 78. Nasdaq is up seven. S&P's off one and a half. We'll come right back.